Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing out there today? I uh, came across one of these on one of my local LGSs. It's a 2014 core set uh, event deck. Basically kind of the predecessor to the Challenger decks, I believe. It's just a pre-con 60-card uh, deck with a 15-card sideboard. But it does have 10 rares in it, which is pretty cool. I actually advertised that. So I figured we'd break in here and see what's in here. I happen to know there's at least one cool surprise in here. At least supposed to be. We'll see. <laughs> I have never opened one of these before. Ooh, fancy little box here. So, maybe it's kind of a cross between the early uh, uh, pre release packs, too. So, there's your little M14 die. Little spin down counter. It's got very small numbers on it. Very weird. Alright, so this is probably our sideboard. And this is probably our main deck. And here's your little divider. Well, we got a whole lot of paperwork in this thing. What do we have here? Yeah, it just keeps unfolding. No, no, I ripped it. I ripped it. I'm so, like, brutal with this type of stuff on uh, video here. Wow. Okay. This is not actually going to fit on the camera. Oh, I'll bump on the camera. So, yeah, it's uh, basically a breakdown glossary of everything. Wow. How to get started playing. Attacking, blocking, all the keywords. Oh, oh I'm bumping the camera. I'm trying this new camera mount, and it's a little little tricky. Plus, it's right in the middle of where I am. Different colors and stuff. So, this is a lot of information for beginners here. That's pretty cool. And it's not going to fold back up. I'm just going to toss that to the side. All right. So, then we got another one. Jeez. This one's not quite as big. Okay, this is actually playing the deck. All right, there we go. Actually playing the deck and a card list in there. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't cheat. All right. So, and then tournaments and events and new tournaments. Put in magic. All right, so now that we got all that stuff nobody cares about out of the way, let's actually break in the deck and see what we get here. All right. If I can get it open. Your pull tab's not working very well, Watchy. There we go. Okay. And yeah, we're in. Right on top, we got some Elvis Mystics. Uh, these are worth a little bit. Uh, they're basically a, a Land of War Elf with a different name. So, cool. And there's three, four of those in there. A Rectos Cackler. Uh, two of those. Dryad Militant. Uh, two of those. This would have been uh, during the time of uh, Return of Ravnica, I believe. Um, Colonian Tusker. Two of those. Scar Guildmaids. Two of those. Burning Tree Emissary. Great card. Uh, a couple of those. And then we got a rare here. A Pyre Wild Shaman. Uh, Slaughterhorn. Three of those. Wild Beastmaster. Yep, Return of Ravnica. Okay. Return of Ravnica. Gate Crash. And what was the other one? I forget. Um, yeah, I think I have a box. Dragon's Maze. <laughs> There's a box right there. Uh... Ogre Battle Driver, Dead Bridge Goliath, Gore Clan Rampager, times four of those, Rubber Belt Raiders, Wrecking Ogre, Gruel Guildgate, times four, Rogue's Passage, and a Stomping Ground. That's right, there was a Shockland in here. So you actually get a Stomping Ground in this deck, which is pretty cool. Then we go into our basics. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 forests. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 mountains. We got a couple shocks, a couple 2, 3 shocks, Mizium Mortars, Gruel Charm, Flames of the Firebrand, times 2, Clan Defiance, and a split card, uh, Armed and Dangerous. All right. So I think that's your main deck. Let me see how many rares we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, including the, the shock land, which is, that's pretty awesome. That's worth the price of admission right there. Not really. I think this deck cost me 30 bucks. <laughs> shock land's only like 11 or 12. So, not really. Savage summoning. Cool little card. Can't be countered. Next time, uh, the next creature card you cast this turn can be cast as though I had flash. The spell can't be countered. That creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 counter on it. Suck on that, blue. 
Skull crack. Here's the other uh, good car that's in here. There's actually three skull cracks, which were an uncommon that's worth a couple bucks a piece. Players can't gain life this turn. Damage can't be prevented this turn. Skull crack. Skull crap. <laughs> skull crack deals three damage to target player. So that's a pretty awesome little uh, anti white hate there. And then naturalize. A couple of those. Gruel charms. A couple of those. Active treasons. Two of those. Annihilating fire. Three of those. And enlarge. Two of those. So that's your sideboard there. Sorry with that savage summoning. So there is 10 rares. They did not lie. I would hope not. Uh, the only time they lied to us on a box was VIP Masters, uh, or yeah, Double Masters VIP packs. Uh, so there you go. There's your rare lineup. Uh, but that Stomping Ground is really the uh, the big card in here. Stomping Ground and then the uh, um, Skull Cracks, obviously, are the more expensive ones. The Elvis Mystic's worth a little bit, too. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. Check out the description below. There's a lot of good links to save you money. A lot of good sales right now on Magic Gathering stuff. Chandra's so pretty. Mm. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out the description. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And check out another video or two while you're here. I think they're over there. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you next one. Bye.